Hello and welcome to the subject of the month for April. This month we're going to take a look at some of the reporting options for the reasons that animals have died or have left the herd. Now one of the most popular reports that we show people on the help desk is the fertility analysis overview. And this looks at the herd over a period of time. Now here we're looking at it over the last 12 months, but you can look at it over a quarter or over a yearly period. So what this tells me is that the average number of cows in the herd during these 12 months was 487. We then have a monthly breakdown of the number of animals that were sold, that's nine here in February, and five cows actually died. So if I look at my totals over this period, we had 138 animals were sold and 23 left the herd because they died. Can I see the animals that were sold? Yep, remember you can always look at the cows behind the calculation by just clicking on the blue eye and this will show all animals that sold or died over this period. What you can also do is you can click here and where you have a tick that means the animal unfortunately died. So if I select 593, that was her old number, I go to movements, we can see the date that she left the farm. Can I break it down by reason? Yep, that's where you need the culling analysis module. So if we go across to the cow's head and select costings, this is where you'll find culling analysis. So if we select it, the first screen, that shows the animals and the date, as we can see here, that they actually left the herd. And you want to look at it by reason, yes. so just select the tab here, and here we have a breakdown. So we look over the period, and then we can see the number of animals that were sold for fertility, legs or feet, or whatever data that you've entered. Can you explain the totals? Yes, certainly. Remember, we had 489 cows in the herd over this period. So what this is telling me is that we actually lost, for legs and feet, 25 animals, which equates to 5%, 5.1% of the herd. We also can calculate the average age and their average lifetime production. Okay. Can I include my young stock on this report? Yes, yeah, so if you look right down here on the bottom left, if we tick include young stock, that will then put the young stock in on the total calculation. Can I filter it by lactation? Yep, you can do it there. There's two actually. You can do it by stage of lactation. So we have a breakdown then of the number of animals that were sold between 0 to 29 days or the number of animals that actually died between 0 to 29 days. And again, we can look at the actual cow behind the calculation. And you're also able to look at it by lactation number. So we can see the total number of animals in the fifth lactation and what the average lifetime production was. Can I show this graphically? Yeah, we've got a really good graph here now. So what this shows us is we can look on the left hand axis, we can see the amount of milk when they were sold. This shows us the cow's status. And here where we have the blocks, those unfortunately are the animals that died. So again, we can look here and we can see the reason why animals left the herd but we can also see the stage of lactation and their production. So this cow is actually producing a lot of milk. I see I can also filter it by lactation and reason. Yep, if we look down at the bottom here, so here we can see all lactations, but here we can actually look at the reasons. So for example, this is the number of cows that left because they had problems with their legs or their feet. And again, we can look at the production and we can look at their status. So here we see a lot of cows that are black. Those cows were barren. So I hope you can see from this, the culling analysis report, that we can draw out a lot of the day-to-day -day information that you enter. And then you can really analyze the reasons why animals have left the herd, when they left their herd, their average age, and their average production. If you have any questions on the culling analysis, please give the help desk a call and we look forward to taking you through it.